Osteomyelitis is a bone infection caused by bacteria or fungi. It causes painful swelling of bone marrow, the soft tissue inside your bones. In this video, we're going to talk about the causes, signs and symptoms, treatment and risk factors for osteomyelitis. Let's get started. Osteomyelitis affects about 2 to 5 out of every 10,000 people. It's one of the oldest diseases on record. Scientists have traced it back more than 250 million years. Generally, it's caused by Staphylococcus bacteria, types of germs commonly found on skin or in the nose of even healthy individuals. It affects people of all ages and genders, children younger than three, the elderly and people with serious medical conditions are more prone to the condition. And you are more at risk for getting osteomyelitis if you have recently broken a bone, been injured or have a bone, an artificial hip or screw in a bone, recently had a, any surgery on a bone, a weakened immune system, for example, because of chemotherapy, or you have another serious illness, had osteomyelitis before, diabetes, especially if you have a food ulcer. It's very important to look after your feet if you have diabetes. This is a special note. If you have poorly controlled diabetes, you can lose sensation in your feet and not notice small cuts which could develop into an infection that spreads to the bone. The signs vary depending on the type and cause. Some people with chronic osteomyelitis don't have any symptoms but generally we will see pain, drainage, fever, irritability or lethargy, limited painful movement, loss of appetite, lower back pain, nausea and vomiting, sweating or chills. A bone infection can take a long time to heal. The infection may clear up faster if you start treatment within three to five days of first noticing symptoms. It's treated with antibiotics generally you may need to stay in hospital to have antibiotics directly into a vein, but you will usually need an operation if a buildup of pus develops in the bone. The pus in an abscess needs to be drained. The infection presses against something else, for example, the spinal cord. The infection has lasted a long time and damaged the bone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share this video with your friends and don't forget to watch our signs of diabetes video. See you on the next one.